Ache thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Rebellion. Rebellion. Hello. I had an awful time in potions the other day. Pages of my book of potions. In my blood, my mother says. From her side, at least. My aunt has some potions recipes she swears are from Sigmund Fudge himself. Revelio. Rebellion. Find anything yet? If I could have a moment of your time. Can I help you? 
I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way, and I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time, even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret Depulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows Depulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. They call it... Perhaps I'll make myself a copy. Suppose I should look for that secret hall Sophronia told me about. It does sound interesting. Rebellion. <laughs> Duncan owes his reputation to you. This must be the entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. Well, here it is, the Hall of Herodiana. Better go inside and find those puzzles. Herodiana Byrne was as good as Sophronia said she was. Accio!
Reset everything. Good to know.
Depulsa! Accio! Levioso! Accio! Levioso! Arresto momentum. Descendo. Incendio. Descendo. Capulso. Revelio. Depulsa. Accio.
Rebellion. Lumos. Descendants.
Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Levioso. Akio. Revelio.
killed. Huh? 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 
That's the last of them. Seems I was a match for Herodiana Byrne after all. And this must be the last piece of Herodiana's ensemble. It is remarkable. No wonder Sophronia wants to see this. Rebellion. Augustus Hill just wants you to buy something, no? What have you learned? Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? Of course. Behold. Oh, how grand! You look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest Depulso master of all time. You're my second favorite hero! Rebellion. Made any progress with your trip? Hello, Arthur. What was it we were going to do? We were each going to follow a Hogwarts treasure map. I'd suggest you start looking near the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom.
I spend the entire day with you? Revelio. Rebellion. So this is the underground harbor. Revelio. Rebellion. Lumos. Lumos.
Revelio. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Rebellion. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around his. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Golden Snuggery. No. Incorrect. The answer was the Golden Snidget. The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The founder's relics. No, the answer was the Deathly Hallows. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consist of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Quaffle. That's right! When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. True. Actually, the answer was false. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I, I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Revelio! Lumos.
Revelio. Relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. Revelio. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the Room of Requirement. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your 
extracurricular activities? Were your meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake connected in any way to Professor Fig? Not at all. I was, uh, intrigued by stories of a giant squid and wanted to learn more. I encountered Scrope, who seemed delighted to share what he knew. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. I need to race now, my friend. Slow down now. There we go. I wish they'd let the road walk around. No doubt the black is. Clever! Peace is gay, sir. 
best one ever! <laughs> Hello there! Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. No need to race now, my friend. High wing, go! Fast the high wing! If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. I have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her you-know-what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade.
A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the Helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, uh, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. Loyalist may have left plans behind, and I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen, either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know about the Enchanted Door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. I'm quite good at sneaking about. You'll see. The door is looking at us. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected.
I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. These machines operate on steam. Interesting. Steam. Obviously. Can bring up. inside a real goblin mine. Akio. I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Yes, of course. Keep your wits about you, I'll meet. I'll get you through this mine. To. I'll get us through here safely, I'll meet. You have my word. Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? We're being watched. By a door. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be black. A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here.
If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? Let me know if you see any We can't return to Lord Gong for safety. This is more complex than I had expected. Revelio. Are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Expelliarmus! Akio! Depulsa! Confringo! Descendo! Incendio! Arresto Momentum! Levioso! Accio! Expelliant! Uh. Repair room. Ah, 
here. about. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. 
Let's get out of here and tell Lodgott what we found. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. We're almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. That's the last loyalist. Unfortunate, really. Imagine most goblins to be brilliant and kind.
destruction. Can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Branrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who'd set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she'd been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. Hmm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. 
<sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals. But the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. I've always said that travel broadens the mind.
I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so distracted by the scriptorium and Slytherin's book that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. The wizards will be defeated. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Manrock's loyalists are out for blood. Loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. Wizard kind will Glaces! I'm too slow! Bring it! Bring it! Bring it! Bring it! I won't rest! Don't do that! Get out of here! Why have you not run away? It's head to go! is over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun.
For better or for worse, you're in. This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Incendium! That ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Repairer. We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would best.
Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Arrest the momentum. Incendio. We've still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? Oi! Pass that fight with you over here! You have to learn to share! Oh, no regret coming here! Ah! 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 Cleared the room. 
I don't know why Gryffindors get credit for bravery. We Slytherins are teeming with it. And we're much more fun to fight with. Have a look around in peace. Confringo! Rebellion! Spiderwebs always seem to be in the way. Room symbol above the cavern door. Ranlock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Confringo. Wasn't expecting that. the passageway. We should search the room first. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel Rebellion. more of mystery. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. Lumos. Revelio. Descendo. Devolto. Accio. Cryptic led us here to find this bit of canvas. We can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway... Now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. 
And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are- Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable.
I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. Revelio. This place has seen better days. Revelio.
Revelio. Accio. I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me in the Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. You're here. Good. Not sure what I did to deserve that. rather dark in there. You're here. Good.
Revelio. Wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Telling what lies in wait for me in there. You're here. Good. <laughs> 